Hello everybody, how are you doing? My name is Crony and welcome to Danganronpa 2. I think this like subtitle of this one is actually Goodbye Despair. Uh, it's the sequel of the original game. I actually, I don't know if it's the sequel or the prequel because I am not sure if this game is actually after the, the actual first one or before the first one, but I think it's actually before. I'm not gonna make any assumptions, but the only thing that played until now was the actual first, like, the opening, you know, like we had in the first one. Um, and we got into this little game, like, menu, which uh, I completely forgot the name for a second, sorry. Um, which just plays the game like it was, you know, in the death scenes of the first one. I, I still haven't finished the first one and I'm actually gonna go to part 10, uh, part 11 actually, of Danganronpa, the original one. And as you could see, like flying off the screen, um, the person which was here before, this one is actually with a little rabbit. Also, this time I have Wawa with me so I don't lose my voice because I'm gonna try to record like two parts of this. So there's going to be a lot of talking because I'm gonna read through all the dialogue, uh, hopefully. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, new game. From the beginning, obviously. Audio, I uh, know, I don't want it in English, I want it in Japanese because that's how it is. Like the original voice actors and everything, so yeah. Kind, kind, yeah, like I'm playing in the first one. So if there are any like references, uh, uh, as I think this one is actually before the original one, the original Danganronpa uh, Happy Trigger Havoc. Um, I believe there's not going to be any references to the future. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how it's gonna be, but most likely if there's any references, there's going to be references from the first game like to this actual game if they had already thought of making the second one and the second one was already like ready to be shipped or I, I don't know. Let's just continue. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, he's actually talking. Yep. Hello? I don't understand. Why am I here? Oh, also, I forgot to say a little thing. The only reason why I'm playing this one while playing the first one is because supposedly the characters are completely different. So this is a complete, a complete new whole setup in the same universe, so yeah. That's why I am playing this one without playing the actual first one because, you know, it doesn't seem to have any, like, direct involvement. Hmm, what happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think... Disentangling the twisted knots had, that had formed in my mind. So we, now we actually are gonna go into the past in his memories. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. Huh. That's right, I, I, something. What the hell? What's this? Starting PC version 1.0.1.01 actually. Okay, Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. So yeah, it is. Game start. Oh, I was actually starting to enjoy it. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was the day that it felt truly significant. And when that day, that long awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Okay then. Probably a nightmare, knowing this game. 
Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Hope Speak Academy! That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play basketball baseball will long to will long to join major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long soccer, yeah. Uh, long jo to join a rap team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope Speed Academy. Right there. Yeah, you were you were showing it to us. Well, Hope Peak, Peak Academy is a government-funded school for a privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and, in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, "If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life." And just so you know, it's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alum alumni yeah, of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope Speak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. Oh, and another thing. If you are still watching for some weird reason, um, there's another little detail that I forgot to mention. Well, um, all the other series for now are gonna be on standby because I really want to finish up this game and the original game in order for me to be in the ending of September already able to play the actual new game that is going to come out, which is actually the Danganronpa V3 game. Um, that is going to come out, I think, 20, uh, September 28th, I, I believe. I'm not sure, but I think that's that's the actual date. Um, but yeah, so my channel is going to kind of turn into a little channel of Danganronpa for now, at least. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be ver the very best at what you do. Unlike other students, there aren't m uh, uh, ah sorry unlike uh, other schools there aren't many uh, any entrance exams at this academy the only way to get in the, the in is if the school scouts you in itself okay that is how Ops peak academy operates now because of the talents of those who are chosen the students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope Speak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Also, I just realized I don't have here my timer. Fuck! Here, timer, timer, timer. It's here. Now that I have my actual timer and I know how long I've been recorded for, uh, recording for and I actually must have, like, I have now to add like five minutes to this, let's continue. Anyways, I guess, actually he just said that as well so it's convenient. I guess I should introduce myself first. Oh, so it's not Naegi. Uh. Your name is Hinata. I guess, yeah, it kind of works either for a boy or for a girl, so yeah. これが希望が峰学園にやってきた理由はたった一つ。希望が峰学園にいわばアイドルであるヒーローのような存在なんだ。その憧れは夢なんて言葉にも置き換えられるかもしれない。Yeah, that's good. Follow your dreams. He's now like the key word there dream. Yeah, follow your dreams. That's what you must do. 自分がその一員になって 
自分自身に胸を張れるようになることを目標にずっと。What is happening? Is this supposed to be happening? Is my game glitching out? Okay, no, it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be happening for some reason. For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always. Always, 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 until now. I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope. I might have. Can I read? Can I read, please? Admire talent individually, but I have finally forever tried my best. Finally came true. Huh? What is this? Something happened. Is this like the portal? Oh, you know how what this looks like. This looks like if you have watched Bleach, this looks like the portal for for like the dimension, the like the Shinigami dimension, which I cannot remember the name now. Also, this looks like the limbo from Full Metal Alchemist. It's a door. It's a door. Yeah, maybe a portal. There's a door. Yeah. Still, I need to hurry. And by the way, that that's a door as well, because I need to go inside this classroom. And also, this is a door. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Need. What need? Hmm. No, I should hurry. Also, the text is really going that speed. I can't put it any faster. Okay, that was shiny. At least that, you know. Oh hi. You all look quite pale, especially that guy in the background with the scar on his eye. He looks very pale. And also this girl here in the left, she also looks very pale. And the girl who's sitting down also looks very pale. The only one, and that guy with the white hair in the background also looks very pale. The only ones who actually look healthy uh, are this, these three on the right, and the girl back there. Are the only ones which look truly healthy. Oh, and the purple-haired guy. <laughs> Oh, is that guy like a punk metal fan? Oh, it looks like it. If you are, I don't know. These guys, everyone? The freshmen who were accepted into Hope Speak Academy, the Ultimates? Hmm. Gathered? Hello! Hey! Why won't you just come inside for now? This guy kinda looks like a fat version of Byakuya, doesn't he? Probably he's not even Byakuya. Maybe he's from the um, actual Togami family, I think that's... No, is that the family's name? I don't know. Why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, uh yes, of course, uh, sure. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, uh, and while trying to uh, my very best to act cool, Oh, I thought he was just gonna slam the door and be like, I'm Hinata, bitches! That would be cool, right? I don't know, probably they just think that you were like a weirdo. Don't do that. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here. And then the classroom door just appears in front of me, you know, as if it was drawn. Uh, I was drawn to it, actually. But how did I walk to this classroom? 
I don't remember. That's good. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What is it? Why are you? We all gathered in this classroom. And he has the exact like for now. I can say he has like the exact goddamn voice that Byakuya has. No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? <laughs> Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? Well, since we, you are the, la the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Huh? This is everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this room, and this guy is a 16th student. It it's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. And just what are we gonna talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? <laughs> First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came into this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. So before you realize that you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same pr predicament. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Oh, just maybe. Oh, for fuck's sake, what the hell's happening here with the cable? Just go around it. Yes, thank you very much. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? It sure is strange. Ooh, oh my god. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? The moment you set foot in on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here and you don't know why. <laughs> That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Eh, that dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Okay. So you're saying it's not just coincidence then? No, it would be way too weird just to be a coincidence, 16 students just... Can you imagine if that was actually a, co a coincidence? That would be one heck of a coincidence. Oh! I just realized as well, in the left hand, hand corner, you can actually see the name of the music, which is not playing. And I actually do not know in what corner am I gonna put my face in. Well, hmm? Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Huh. I don't know what so you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to find out, uh, f figure out why we can't leave. Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Huh? Seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Clatter, 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 clatter. It's closed. It won't open! I can't open it! Uh, why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. Okay, then. But that door won't budge at all! Wouldn't budge at all. Hey, hey, what's going on? Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. Eh, uh, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally, it wasn't locked at all. <laughs> I'm sorry for the, like, the voice screeches. But my voice somehow is, also, is still gone because I was sick a little while ago, so yeah. 
Though I don't understand what forces are to work at work here, sorry. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. No shit, Sherlock. Locked inside? Holy Jesus. That was weird. I don't know, I just got a call that was completely random. I don't know. Just... Never mind. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As I thought, a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? Maybe, but you like like the most badass guy of out of all of us. Or perhaps... Doesn't it make more sense to think of it as th th that this is the entrance exam? God damn it, sucks. The entrance exam? You mean Hope Peak Acad- Hope Speak Academies? Yeah. But according to people's uh, to Hope Speak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. Also, I don't like the fact that every single name that it's going to be written down the road is like on the on ver the vertical side here, like to to the left. I don't I don't like that. Take that back. Mm. They may say that public that publicly, sorry, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. Nanda. What was that just now? Oi, Kura. Hey, fat ass. Why did you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? <laughs> I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. It was not huh? mine. Huh? Then whose is it? No. Um, it's actually mine. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Uh, it sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's yeah. desk? Alright. I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. The fuck? Oh my god, these low res pictures. I know this. Thing, like this bunny. It's the symbol of the game. Wh what is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. Sorry, I always like do not realize when I'm supposed to stop uh, reading. This uh, ha happened to me in the original game and now it's gonna happen in... Uh, it's, it's inevitable. It's just gonna happen. Usami. So Manakuma and Usami. Okay. I don't know why I don't like the, these musics, but. Yarashikuni. Uh, am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? Just, just think that no, yeah, everybody sees it. No, I see it too. What's with this talking chihuahua? Ah, uh, that's a chihuahua. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that is very fluffy and soft. That's what I am—a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Rabbit, actually, not rabbit. Hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. Also, why haven't you introduced yourselves yet? That's like the one first thing you always do. Even if you think that you're in school, you're gonna like say, Hi, I'm such name. I don't know. Like, blank name, whatever. It's probably a remote control, a remote controlled or something. Don't act like a uh, like such a pussy over a child's toy. Oh. It, uh, it's probably not a toy, even if it's remote controlled. Doesn't look, doesn't it look 
too lifelike. That's pretty advanced for a toy. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what he just said, it seems to you know something about our country situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip? Hey, what do you mean school trip? A large group of students go on a, t a chaper chaperoned trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Now let's depart for this fun school trip. The depart? So, oh, she's just gonna teleport us. The fuck? Oh no! How did this happen? When did we come to this? Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Neither can I. What the fuck? Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set. And what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. Well, no matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal, to say the least. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatant blatantly wrong. There are some words that just do not come out. I believe not! Oh, she's just losing her shit. Everyone, please stay calm. There is no reason to panic. See, look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart's being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Where, you ask? Well, obviously, we're in an island. Oh, out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by the sea! I understand this is the sea, but what are we going to do here? You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. But we were just at school and now we're, uh, we're here by the ocean, by the sea. This is impossible. Please do not worry, the school trip has just started, that's all. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? All of a sudden, sorry. You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's... she's right. Uh, we're all supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> ah, Hope Speak Academy, I see, I see, you don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy, then in that case... Please forget about Hope Speak Academy, that's why we're having this school trip in the first place. Huh? The hell you mean... We should forget about it. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> I'm not screaming anything, I'm just doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, island, sorry. So please, there's no way to worry at all. Island? You, did you just say island? Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared for just for us, an island free from other people and danger, just in general, you know. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Un God damn it! Yes, perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us all kill each other? How does he know? Whoa, 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 kill each other? Uh, no way. 
Okay. Bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word, ki the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Ah, uh, kia, so scary. Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend to do on us on this island? God damn it. Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Ooh, while you all relax on this island para paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule of this heart throbbing school trip. Heart throbbing school tri trip? Spend uh, these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey dovey heart throbbing school trip is. Everyone's homework! Oh, what? Yeah, I'm questioning the same. What the hell does that even mean? Now then, let the heart throbbing school trip begin. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, uh, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt. This is what I like about this uh, game too, is the openings, they are just so good. It's still going. Then there's parts like these. So over the top. So too much. Yeah, I just hit my head, have a concussion right now, but other than that, we're fine. Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Well, you look very pale yourself, so... Wanna, wanna switch sides, because goddamn. White sandy beach. Crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays begin beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend to Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're in, on a tropical island. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say about uh, with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on screen. Yeah, that was also, like, not explained correctly on the last game. I'm glad that this one is actually right. If the reticle responds, press the left mouse button. You can examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the WASD keys. Plus, you can if you press the tab key, you can examine mysterious power, you can see everything, you can examine. Oh, so this time it's not free. I, uh, also, I cannot get used to these, because otherwise in the, in the other one I'm not gonna get it right, so. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search this beach thoroughly and progress, progress the story. 
What is that? Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? Can I talk to him? Before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. So a surveillance camera. Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Why are we being monitored or something? I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, uh, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What is with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. I don't know. Maybe. Can I talk to him now? Before I talk to the guy, yada yada. So no. Can I examine just the palm trees? I guess it makes sense for to be palm trees in a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree. But now is not the time to be impressed by it. Okay then. I can examine that. Can I examine any further high up? Oh, I can also examine the sea. The crystal clear shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I have never wanted anything like this at all. So how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Mm, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito. Okay, he just said everything that uh, is in this sentence. So hello, the ultimate lucky students. I am so confused right now. Ah, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. Talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student? Throughout a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend Hope Speaker Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? I guess. How strange. Mm, your face looks troubled. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not troubled or anything. No, it's fine, I have mixed feelings about this too. I never thought an average, talentless, high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first I declined. I, I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't come fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Oh, so yeah, it's the exact same thing that uh, happened to Nagi. Maybe this is before Nagi's like adventure. So before the first Anganonpa. <laughs> Hope Speak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as big as luck. Uh, well, just. Taking out a lottery ticket and seeing who the hell comes out of it is not really a study, but whatever. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing the mo most th things through a pessimist lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Mm. Nagito Kom uh, Komaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. 
Also, his first name is really like the f the name of the um, uh, of the first lucky student, Naegi. Yeah, it's pretty similar. You just take out the E and you put a toe in the end, and that's it. Yeah, I'm Hajime Na uh, Hinata. Hmm. Then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I, 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 I opened my mouth, but the words just wouldn't come. Uh, not, but the words would not form. Ah, form. Okay. Um, I felt my thoughts stalling my in my head, as if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory was I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh, huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves uh, to, of discomfort began pounding against me. Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm pretty trouble, still pretty confused about this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right, I think. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Yeah, I guess. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope uh, I hope we can all get along. Actually, obtain hope's fragment. Hey, did something just beep? That what a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into uh, into my pocket. That's right, that strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Uzami was passing them out earlier, remember? Oh right, he seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kinda remember, but... What is this? It's an e-handbook! What the... Where did you come from? Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. Tee hee hee, I know how to apologize like a good girl. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital to, for the school trip. To make it, so make sure you don't lose it. It's like the first game. This device is that important? I've asked everyone to to use their e handbook to gather all of the hopes fragment. Hope fragments actually. Hope fragments. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your uh, classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather all gather a hope fragments so that the flower of hope uh, of achievements is full. Uh, it achieves its full, uh, full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of the school trip. Love, love. Hey, she's gone. A stuffed animal that moves socks and also appears whenever and wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was that about hope's fragment hope fragments? That what's the her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's <laughs> rather comforting. That means we're going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where did everyone go? Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? Mm. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What food and living arrange- uh, what about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? Eh. 
I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Hmm. That's comforting, I guess. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Yes. Shall we get going then? I guess. But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate? Or is it that... What's her name? Uzami's fault. Uzami, whatever. What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Uh, right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh! What kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use your the handbook. You can use it to check out various information throughout the game. You can open your handbook, yeah, super easy. It includes guidelines, report card, which document. Yeah, so it's pretty much like the first one. You can also save your game, yeah. The te uh, that's where about the book. So what? Oh right. Uh, you can exit the beach with uh, the R key. But what's the F2? Oh, the transcript book. Yeah. Well, let's just exit this. Yes, leave the area. Uh, ab about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this handbook. Yeah, we know that. To be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned uh, everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Uh, you don't know? This school is so popular, there are messing... There are message boards online dedicated to talk about it, uh, talking about its students. Then was I also... Mm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked that. Well, it's not your fault uh, if you can really remember. Truly can't remember, actually. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's no mistake. Uh, it's not a mistake. I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Anyway, I'll help you out too. So why don't we begin making our, your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first, I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island. Then let's leave. Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. If you look in the map of your handbook, you'll be able to see this. Yeah, go. Okay. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. First island. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the WASD keys. You can run by holding sh the shift key while you move. You can press the key and E keys. You can also instantly move to the next area. When the radical responds, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You probably realized it by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try make uh, try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. So, oh, this is... Ooh, what is this? This is weird. I don't know if I like it. Can I go here? Oh, this is weird. Hajime. It looks like if we if we go across this bridge, we can re reach another island n not far from here. Okay, then. Is it safe? <laughs> That's uh, what we're going there to find out, right? <laughs> if it's not safe, then we get there. Then what will you do? Okay, then. And here we are in the goddamn main 
island, I guess. So let me actually see, like, on the map. Oh, this is different. Is there anyone here? Oh. Am I not already there? Okay, then I just went through space and time, just vanished. Well, hello. So this is a park. Park surrounded by the ocean. That makes sense. <laughs> it feels so nice. Okay, that's your feeling about this. Okay then, I guess. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the keyword. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature yeah you may have already noticed but you have a level assigned to you it's displayed on the top right hand corner of your uh, screen yes your level increases by performing various actions such as walking examining and talking to others every time you level up you'll become stronger than you were before the number of skills you can equip, equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up. What skills? Where are we going to use skills if there's no killing? I mean, it's it's starting on Ronpa, of course there's going to be killings if the first game is anything to go by. Let me talk to you! What do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming, haha. -ha. Because he's fat? Okay then. Have time for a small introduction? Introduction. Come on, Hajime. So yeah, Hajime Hinata? Oh, okay then. No! So he is Byakuya! This doesn't make any sense! Ultimate Teflon Progeny, yeah, but... How the heck? I'm done! That's it, right? I think... Uh, what? I don't understand, this game is supposed to be before, right? So, why are you like that? You were pretty fit in the other game. Back off. I can tell this guy is thumbling his nose at me. I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? That guy is pretty, per particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already began managing the business operations and his net worth is, well, enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. God damn it. Yes. That's like a manga origin story. You there, Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me, why did Oops Peak Academy choose you? What's your ultimate talent? I don't remember. <laughs> the thing is, I honestly can't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Humph, <laughs> how foolish. Hmm. Um, um. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's leave him, Ajime. Yeah, sure thing. He's built. And that overwhelmingly aura of refinement is just, just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent pro progeny? Obtain Hope's Fragment, but I'm guessing that this was before because Hope's Peak Academy is still intact. 
That's the only thing that makes sense, actually. Also, can I see, like... Oh, what the hell? This happened. Oh, my pet. Hope meter, despair meter, until next growth. Total sub taken, 101 presets. Okay, I have no presets, I'm guessing. So many presets, holy shit! 140 presets, what the fuck? I guess I'll just clean whatever, I don't know. I didn't understand that, but well. Let me go to the map and actually see, like, um... The first island... Oh... Oh, there are many people in the first island that I has completely missed. So there's only the central island and the other one. The other ones are still closed. Can I not go to the other ones? Weird. That's just weird. I don't know. Oh, they are closed. What the hell? It's just like in the first game. Actually, let me just walk along. This is gonna take more time, but you know, with more steps, my uh, pet grows more. And I'm actually about to reach level two, I think. Okay, so I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. Pretty obvious. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Hmm. Weird. That's in at, at minimum weird. I'm just gonna cross here. Never mind me. Oh yes, and I am close to level two. I'm just about to reach it. Three, two. One, it's taking a long time. Level up! Welcome to paradise. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be planes. Yes, airplanes. But they must not have fuel. Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? Uh, uh, and also, I very much doubt that anyone could actually fly those. So. Uh. Nah, it's impo that's impossible. If they were damaged, I can I could fix them. But it looks like their planes are just for show. Just for show? Ah. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Oh, okay, so it's even bigger than that. Whoever brought us to, uh, in to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal. Usami. Usami or Usumami, I don't know. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You haven't you and me haven't been introduced yet, right? <laughs> Good to meet you too. Ultimate mechanic. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazu Kazuchi Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. Also, I just accidentally Oh gosh. I accidentally spit a little bit on my on my mic. That's disgusting. Sorry for your ears right now. That must have hurt. Sorry. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly really beyond repair. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? Well, think about it. It's not like we're going to, we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... 
That was mentioned in the safety precautions of this school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in on your e-handbook? I haven't watched those yet. Rule number one. Extreme violence is prohibited in, on this island, but moderate one, you know, yeah, you can do that. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bo uh, bountiful nature. Bountiful nature, actually. In mutual prosperity. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with students. An exception to this rule is made in any student if any student violates the rule. So yeah, there are exceptions. It looks like we're being kept safe, so... <laughs> why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Mm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend the, uh, these peaceful and relaxing days in nourishing hope. Just as Usami uh, said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe in what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? Don't be such a pacifist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Okay then, I guess. Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? Somehow my my ears just got all clogged up with air. Yeah, weird, right? Hehe. <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking Bernie girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. And I feel like I just ran over a cable. Well, shit. He's being right now, yeah. Obtain the hope fragment. So more airplanes, and this guy is whoever he is. Let me just examine the planes first. To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Hope! Stop right there, if you value your life, do not come any closer. Why is he starting to sound like a goddamn gothic? G uh, nothing against gothics, of course. But he's like sounding... He looks like a gothic. I don't know. I have no idea. Huh? Your card hmm. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept the, the, that courage of yours. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. Or die. You may call me... You're a little full of yourself, aren't you? Ultimate breather? What the fuck is that? Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there! Now then, is it my turn to ask... Uh, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! He looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh character. I don't know why, I, he just looks to me like it. I don't know. Huh? What do you mean by pact? Answer me now! Though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best I don't answer. I think he's asking if you use, if you use to have a pet. A pet? 
No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. So, a mere insect! Huh! Your magic is in only five! Trash! Tr trash? Really? Hmm! Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me! What do you have, cats? Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful... Oh yeah! Okay then. Okay. I... Uh, oh. I don't know. I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanka Tanaka. I'll just call you Tanaka because Gundam is too hard to say. Supreme Overlord of ours. Hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. Taming evil by using myself as the bed. Truly, this is a secret of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see in, on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill for, uh, of Ultimate Breather. <laughs> One of my four the dark divas of destruction, Mirage, Golden Honk, Jump P, Jump P, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when you're when we're angry. Foo ha ha ha. Okay, I will not do that one. <laughs> Just a little bit odd, okay then. Uh um I know he seems a little odd, yeah, a little. But apparently he did spend Splendidly, actually, as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame an, any animal e and even manage to succeed at prof prolif proliferating an endangered uh, species. Humor, uh, rumor has it, he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough to in that regard. Okay then. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside of their own scarf. So, are we done here? Oh, there's another monitor there. Just as I thought, a blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal television, seriously, what the heck is that? Do I not get noises on this one? Another surveillance camera. Even if we're being monitored by our safety, we're still b being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. Let us just leave then. Why is there a pineapple in the conveyor belt? Rocket Punch Market. This is our next destination. Rocket Punch Market. There are two people here. People here, yeah. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. Oh my god, cola of 20 liters. Jesus. If we're going if we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in an in, in international waters? <clears throat> Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? <laughs> It's just a figure of speech, uh, but there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? Um, you certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even this supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Also, why are they selling night vision goggles? I've never seen like anything like that, like anything like that, like gas masks as well. What the hell is this supermarket? Mm. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Tusami say this island is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Uh, what happened? It's nothing. She's staring at me funny. Uh, um, um, you know, I'm sorry, 
Why are you start? God damn it! Stop crying! Why is she crying? Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... <laughs> Me too! Ultimate nurse! That makes sense. Uh... You know, um, um, uh, my mind is drawing bl blank. I'm uh, from nervousness, and I went through all the trouble of preparing five thousand different topics of to, to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive, just a little bit. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait you, uh, for you forever, if that's what it meant, what it takes. Uh, uh, isn't he just putting more pressure on to on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you, since I don't get any uh, anywhere. Asking her, so what's your deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need help. Er, help. So, it's best if you get along with her now. <clears throat> if you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. <clears throat> don't you say it's something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> eh. Uh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just I can't help it, I'm just so happy, I can't remember the last time I made any friends. <laughs> now that you actually want to be friends with me, I'm so sorry, I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. <laughs> Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. Again, seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Ooh, that girl! Goddamn! Picking, picking. Okay then. Oh hi! Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Your attention is super low. Are you feeling all right? Uh, that's right. Introductions are a go go. I. Okay, so you're Ibuki Miyoda. I get it. Ultimate Magician! Yes! Okay. So I was kinda right. I was too specific. Alright, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. Bombastic supermarket, actually. They got hamburger, ramen noodles. I actually like both of them. Chili beans as well. Breadverse, I've actually never tried that. Pasta, yes. Oh, melons. Americans, cheese, Mexicans, German, Chinese, god damn it. Why did I say cheese? That just sounded. Oh my god. Sorry. Americans, cheese, m Chinese, god damn it. Here I go again. Fuck. Americans, Chinese, Mexican, Germans, Italians, and even people from U Ubari would shop here. So yeah, that was a German f uh, plate. I was confused by that name. Man, I'm getting hella stu stocked. I'm I'm 31 th flavors of stocked for all of these deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry, mungry. Uh, I don't understand it myself. How do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? Kiahaha, <laughs> the human body is sure is a mystery. Um, this is an uh, this energetic young lady is known as the uh, ultimate musician girl. 
She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was a super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single After School Pyoyon Hour sold over a million copies. Jesus. A super popular all-girl school ba high school band. That sounds familiar. Due to the creative, due to creative differences, she left the band on, uh, to pursue a solo career. Creative differences. Are you interested? Well, could you, you could hear me? The Ibuki is a musician, after all. Like Schembert, Bach, Edinson, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Was Van Gogh a musician? I think she's just making that one up. Perez and Senna. Okay, I too am an awesome musician. So you're saying you have good hearing. Oh, so that, that Van Gogh one was just a bad joke. Oh god, why would you make that joke? Wait! Most of those people you mentioned weren't music musicians as well at all. Yeah, I noticed. Don't sweat uh, the details. Okay, so that was just that was just some uh, uh, her being mistaken. But goddamn it, that actually <laughs> for a second I was really confused. I was really like, okay, the light is just shining way too much, like on my face, like a little bit like that. Yes, thank you. Um. I thought that it was like a joke because of hearing and Van Gogh didn't have an ear because he cut it off himself. Cut it off himself. Don't sweat under the details. Okay, that, that's accordingly to the legend. I don't even know if that's true. I believe it is, but whatever. Don't sweat the details. Level up. Okay then, now that we've met them, I guess we'll just check out this even with Okay, so it's still the same thing. He says, I bet for the monitors it's still the same thing. So let us just leave. Whoa, this is a pretty nice hotel. The Hotel Mirai. Mirai, okay. So Mirai is future. Yeah. Oh, it's down there. Okay, sorry. Huh, it looks like it's named for the Japanese world of future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't mm, even know how why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a uh, make a good base. Sorry. So, why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been th through a lot of trauma or something? I don't know, that's just up to us to find out. A map will disp uh, be displayed if you press the tab key. I said the tab key, don't make me repeat myself. Okay then. Just... okay then. Uh, but, uh, can I see the map of this little specific zone? So here are these four guys, here are these two, and here they are in the eating lounge, so nobody's here. No. Okay then. Oh god damn it. So where we actually need to go is here, I believe. Where the heck are they? Persons. Oh, here it is, a person. Hello! Hmm? That's right, you haven't told me your name. My name? I am the ultimate... So... I'll just call you Nidai. 
Ultimate Team Manager. I see how that makes sense. Um, hello. I'm Hajime Hinata. Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. Let your vo voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm he Hajime Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata, please to make your acquaintance. I am Nika Nekomaru Nidai. Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Now he's just repeating yourself. You used to sound like a Pokemon. You you don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. Gaha. <laughs> I agree with your terms. He sure is boister uh, boisterous. Uh, it's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. <laughs> Nekomakeru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one. Mm. He's not just a team manager, after all he's an ultimate. He's traveled uh, to numerous towns and played an active role on various sport clubs, uh, sports clubs, meaning uh, managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to a national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who always plays in the American League. Oh no! Oh no! Is that Leon? Oh no! That was so dark right now. I just just it's it's like a weight in my heart. What the hell is is that Leon? If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but gah! Ah, 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 ah. But with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Obtain hope fragment. Please to make your acquaintance, now I'm just gonna go away. Very much away. Hello, who are you? Oh, sorry. I was pressing the wrong button. Who the hell are you? Don't talk hell friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy is already in a crappy mood. <laughs> what are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? <sighs> he's. I don't know why he just sounds uh, to me. I just think that the best character for him is the um, uh, actor who plays the um, Christmas in. In the mercenary movies, I don't know if you know that guy. I think this one is pretty much like his version. I don't know why. It just... Relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only trying uh, here to introduce ourselves. What? Introduce yourself? No, actually, um, I forgot to do the voice. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? <laughs> Names. Ultimate Yakuza, so yeah, he kinda, he's like the kind of badass character, so yeah, I'll just give him that voice for now, I guess. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Fuyuhiko is a, is a high school student, and her to the Kuzu Kuzuryu clan. Huh? The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the r largest criminal syndicate in the nation with a membership of surpassing 30,000? <laughs> Jesus! Which means he's the ultimate way, Yakuza. The, 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 the heir to uh, Yakuza clan uh, and the Ikuzuyu clan, um, no less. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is, expressive, is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. 
That was close, I nearly lost all of my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating, huh? Uh, I guess not. Hey, bastards. If we are all done he here, how about you, you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? I just insulted so many people. I am so sorry. But I'll keep on doing that voice just because I find it funny, not because I want to be insulting. How oh, high? Hey, aren't you uh, the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know, at times like this. It's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Y you're right. Did you make me... Uh, do you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see, I am... She looks like a journalist. Ultimate photographer, so... Not so close, but yeah, close enough, I guess. Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has promising future as a, a photojournalist, so yeah, she also has to do with journalism. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there's a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. So, I was just stupid and I didn't notice the camera. Sorry. Honestly, uh, honestly, I'm a little re uh, relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Um, decent? Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can tell if you're, they're really an ultimate or just like insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can all get off this island. But uh, I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what the stuffed animal Yozami was saying. After you finish collecting all hopes uh, for fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do and, g and we can go b home? Is that true? Did she really ma mean that? Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave uh, this island soon enough. Sorry? So there's no reason for you to act so panic panicky. Even so... What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along? It doesn't make any sense. I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's not... it's really not that big of a deal. Not big of a deal, really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning. Then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope Speak Academy. Is he sure this is a big deal? Hey, huh? Don't eh me. Uh, what about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh, it's nice to meet you too. I see, Hajime Hinata. Huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. Okay then. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. I see you whipped already, Hajime. I'm sure both. Uh, I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Obtain hopes pra hope fragment. Okay, then I'll just go along and find other people, I guess. There was another person here, right? 
or am I just crazy? Oh, no, it's just us. Okay, then. I was just thinking wrong. <laughs> ah, how silly of me. I'll just go in here. Can I, can I not go? Okay, I'll just go here then. <clears throat> it's pretty much the same. Actually, I can just walk here and I'll level up. It's so weird. You can just literally do this and you'll level up. <laughs> It's, it's really just weird to me, I don't know why. Hotel lobby. So, in the lobby, what do we have here? <laughs> Two more persons. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand too. This, is, this was really a normal school trip. I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? <laughs> it's an, 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 an inhabited island, it can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems uh, electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on in this island? With this island, actually, I'll just go ahead and talk to you. State your business. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. I understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is. That makes way too much sense. She just has a katana on her back. Hopefully not a real one. Or a kendo sword as, as well, I think that's how it's called. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. If I am sorry, again. This signified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordsman swordswoman, sorry. Okay then. <sighs> it's getting real hot in here. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama. So it's just basically repeating the same name. Could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master. Oh, so it is a kendo sword. And that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. What if that... Oh, god damn it. What if what that rabbit said is true and we, we are expected to live together on this island? Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women to who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Though it may seem impossible to kin uh, kill someone with this, um, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Well, a named blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Obtain hope fragment. Yay! Who are you? Oh, with that little space invader uh, ship on your uh, that you're using as a hair clip, it really looks like you're a gamer. I don't know. There's uh, some girl playing an arcade game. So yeah, maybe a gamer, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seemed really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, Shiaki. Huh? Sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Oh, let's see. Oh, right, introductions. Got it. Okay, then. Nice to meet you. I like games too. I'd like to consider myself a gamer. Also, I find it like really pleasant, you know, like and so so, oh, so satisfying. Sorry, that's I said pleasant, but yeah, but that's basically the same thing. Um, I find I find it satisfying that while the name is turning, one of the actual bars that comes up comes up right when it's parallel. That's actually very, 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 very pleasant. Yeah, satisfying. Damn, I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. 
Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather <laughs> slow. Well, she's gaming right now. It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk w that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at, at a time like this? You can play games at any time. Yawn. I'm sleepy. That's hot. I think that in the restaurant there's actually three more persons. Or two more. It's enormous. We could really hold a banquet here. A banquet here, sorry. It kind of has its tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck in this island? Are we really stuck here? What, what else could it be? Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. That's right, I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, I'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison, I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Wah! Denied. Denied? Hello, it is nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there, you must be the new guy. I could uh, now go for a snack, actually. Okay then. Ultimate cook. If you see here, yeah, it lines up just about the right time. <laughs> I hope we all get along well. Oh, that reminds me, I have not properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Why would you give that name to someone? Oh my god, I don't even know. Sorry, guys, I just bumped my head into my microphone. That must have sounded so bad on your ears. Hopefully not. Hopefully it didn't sound as bad I think as I think it did and I just messed up. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I messed up something behind here, but no, not really. Never mind that. Haha. -ha. Never ultimate princess. That just took me a while to process. I don't know why. <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student for uh, from a small uh, European uh, kingdom called Novozelic. I've never heard about it. If it's real, I never heard about it. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can all get along well. Same here too, I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes and her gl hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's not at the ultimate as the ultimate princess, which me princess, which means she's actually royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally, I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Mm -hmm. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Um, what are you happy about? In my home country, I didn't have a single friend in my age. Uh, my age, actually. Uh, whose uh, standing in society matched my own. So, to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? 
thanks. What a... I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Hey, you three, am I being left off the menu or something? That, no, that's not it. Oh, Teru Teru. So, it, it's like so... Uh, it's so... Some, I, I'm, my head is hurting because it's so hot in here and I can't think, think straight, not even read straight. It's so like you to, to check out the restaurant at first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> hmm. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I don't want to, to be a liar, then truthfully, yeah, I like it. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you... Refined? Cultured? Guilty as charged? No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to be worried about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Paco is actually a bit of a freak! If you catch my meaning, what do you think? What? She pro she's probably wearing a black thong too. Uh, what are you? Th your thoughts on that? You're just being a pervert now. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia uh, over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows the princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that uh, why he was talking about poison earlier? Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. <laughs> I'd better not see you try that again. <laughs> anyway, I uh, when I fantas uh, fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a comp completely different reason. Obtain hope fragment. Let's just leave then. Where did I leave to? I shouldn't have been here. God damn it. Now I have to go all the way back. Level up! Uh, I just got a crazy level up, everybody! Oh yes! Let's go to the ranch! I think there's only two people, mi uh, two people missing, I believe. Uh, this looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Oh, you found it out. You again? Seriously? Where? Where did you keep? Uh, do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on this island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? She's talking about that toy she's holding. Hmm. I uh, still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows like this is a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Yeah, I was just about to point that out. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Please don't say magic stick. You're gonna turn a cock into a cow. Bibbidi bibbidi bobbidi boo! This is so wrong. Boah! Harum! A huge success! 
What was that just now? A chicken turned into a cow! No, it's probably just some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy. But I guess it had the opposite effects uh, on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think uh, rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know. Squish, squish! What is this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger into the floor with all her strength. Which must not be very much. Um, are you okay? Uh, I haven't introduced myself, right? No, you haven't. You're just being unpolite now. God damn it, I lowered it accidentally. Otherwise, I'm just not in your pain of view and I feel like uh, I have to be precisely on the center of the camera, otherwise you won't see me. I haven't introduced myself, right? Yeah. My name is... Hajime Hinata. Uh. Mm? Why would there be an ultimate for that? She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what she's doing? Uh, and her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. <laughs> Hayoko's talent has made her her own as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dancer dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences. Sorry, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans are probably probably all have the same niche or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ant, of course, I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you squish their time is just uh, just right, it makes this awesome sound. Wanna squish, uh, wanna do it together? Hell nah! Uh, okay. Um, eh, what a wuss. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Another hope fragment, and the other one is right back there. Hey! How are you dudes? It's it's nice to finally meet ya! I'm Hajime Hinata! Gotcha! And who's this other dude? Huh? Haven't we met all uh, haven't we already met? Oh <laughs> I'm sorry, I pr pretty much suck at remembering names. Uh, and I've met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm Nagito uh, Ko uh, Komaeda. Uh, if you can, uh, please don't forget my name again. Yo! Ultimate gymnast! So she may not be. So the other one may not be the strongest of all. I don't know. Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all around super athlete. Rumor has it. It's it's rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly. If she's not, she loses interest in and switches it up. How self-centered! No matter how you cut it. She definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate shamaness for a reason. So her perform performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got her the physique of an Olympic athlete. Obtain hope fragment. Uh, don't don't t tell me you. Oh, I get it. So you want. You have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? 
You're being really loud. Um, I know you're doing that on purpose. Oh, the familiar bell! That was the school bell huh? just now. Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Okay then. She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is it that precaution really enough? Yeah, to be honest, no. Yeah, to be honest, I'm really worried. But it would be it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. So yeah, let's just leave. I'm guessing. Okay, let us. Can I run? Oh, I can run. Oh, beach! God damn it. Beach. It's here. What's happening in the beach? You guys are the last to uh, are the last to arrive. Yeah, what are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> dallying, dallying for. Sorry, sorry to keep you all waiting. <laughs> well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk. N now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. I happen to notice number, uh, numerous bu uh, numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Island, actually. Oh, those uh, those are uh, there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and the rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm letting uh, I'm telling the truth. So we don't get lost. Is this island really so big? <laughs> But if you look, uh, if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I have been to a resort before, but also there is a big ranch. Uh, um, there's also a, a large supermarket too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living um, teeth. The hotel is really w was really nice too. It would be great if we can stay there. The restaurant inside the motel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Can you guys listen to what I want to say to? I found something very important on this island. Girls, very very cute girls, all over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. The most serious truth? If no one realized that you are all bigger fools than I thought. What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't you be talk don't be talking about all big and shit. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth? What does he mean? What do you mean, Byakuya? Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did you find out something about this island? <laughs> island? Have you all gone to the parks across the, the bridge? The park with all that weird brown statue and all those creepy animals, right? When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. <clears throat> There's an island and in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of an central island surrounded by five different islands. Also said, 
that five, li uh, five holy animals symbolize each uh, of those surrounding islands. Huh? That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what uh, I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. Hold it right there. That's rather incomplete, a rather incomplete story you've told us. No need to shout. I'll let you all know once I obtain more information. Mm. He's always like this. Meh, I don't really care what, uh, what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact we're so, we all gotta live here, right? Yahoo! Living together in this tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to this! Sure? To it, actually. Right on! This ain't a bad school at all. Uh, you guys. Um, I like this island too. I, I can say the same about you, the rest of you cretins. Did, did I hear something? I'm still worried, but I don't feel as, as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like there this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We can all attend... We can... Ah, God damn it! We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're all living on this island like this, in in an island like on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you get, stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something, huh? Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship. And the planes are just for show. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world for now either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Then, why don't we just swim home? There's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit! I'm telling you, that's impossible. Now then, uh, what if we cut down some trees and make a raft? You can do that, that's the biggest of no-no's. Please recall the guidelines of this, of this school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island, bountiful nature and mutual prosperity, got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully, um, live peacefully, peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What words with these rules? Who cares about that? Stop it. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? The word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there is no danger. As long as we gather hope fragments, we'll be able to gather off the silence soon. You're all just gonna believe that? There's no other choice um, but to believe, for now that is. Anyway, Yuzami, what is this present you mentioned on your announcement earlier? Ah, uh, that's right, of course I didn't forget. Love, love, uh, this is it. Don't be upset, I've prepared one for, for you all, so don't worry. What is this? It's an Usami trust trap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Man, and I got my hopes up too. 
I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. Really, I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like the rabbits. Well, Uzami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Uzami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody receiving their strap, they would just toss them on the beach. Hey, you can't take nature with trash. See, even you think they're trash. Uzami is sadly <laughs> picked up the <laughs> poor Uzami and looked at us with all the lonely. With a lonely expression on her face. Poor Rosami. Maybe she does have good intentions. I mean, I should have already learned from the other Danganronpa game. But man... Uh, I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you. Bad kids. Mm, you have something else? Well, compared to the Zami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I've prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've called all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be, it'd be great to do something island themed. Right now, this is being the complete opposite of the, the original Danganronpa, and I feel like some way down the line, this is gonna be get batshit crazy. <clears throat> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Correct! Oh, she actually guessed it. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My lungs are still full of poison and I'd appreciate if you could suck it out of your mouth. <laughs> Knock it off, Teru Teru! Yes. Oh, your tender lungs, you betcha! Just ignore him, Sonia. If we're all talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a there should be a it should be a barbecue or something. A campfire sounds fun too. Let's find the hoop snake and kill it. He's looking for one not enough for you. It seems everyone has different ideas, but we're all gonna be by the, at the ocean. Then first. Ta da This that that is what this is it's all about. A swimming bag. Correct! Love love it. Whoa, then that means That's right! Oh, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well cool swimsuits actually I hope it's that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming? In a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything, I just... If you wanna go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be th so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Eh. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With a uh, weather is th this nice. There's no way I'm gonna pass out on swimming. I agree. <laughs> Even my lines agree, see? Yes. Your tender lines, I understand. <laughs> Seriously, don't try to uh, don't try to understand. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? <laughs> All right, let's go change. Those of us who were excited to go swimming when they uh, get their swimsuits from Usami and ran straight to the hotel to change. What are you going to do, Hajime? I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. But if you feel up to uh, for it, yeah, I'd be happy if you came along too. As he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There is no danger on this island. There is nothing tragic awaiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? <laughs> hmm. You're not gonna swim, Byakuya, of course not. However, don't think that m that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. 
different reasons <laughs> you cannot accept the situation because you're not be uh, nothing but a coward right coward Nanda. that usami thing is not lying to us you're starting to realize that aren't you Th then why aren't you going to swim i simply don't like the o ocean water it's too salty <clears throat> That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. Swim. Aren't you? Weren't you hyped to go? So it looks like she sings too. That's unexpected. She seems like the most active type. Hey, you're not gonna huh? swim, huh? Of course I am. Why? Then why don't you go with the others to change? I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? Yeah, please put on a swimsuit. There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a sw school a swimsuit. And being naked is not a problem. She's just wrong about so many things. So, let's hurry and swim. With those words, I kinda quickly began taking off her... Whoa. Hey. Hey there! Shameful behavior like that is a no-no! If you're going to swim, you gotta wear your swimsuit! <laughs> what a pain! Hew, hew! Usami... Huh? You're not gonna swim, Hajime? Mm. Mm, how can I get you to believe me? There's no way I can believe her. Ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Usami said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Yahoo! Who was Sada? Oh yeah, the um, the mechanic, I think. Hi, bye. Yay, the sea. <laughs> I am not recognizing that person behind there. Oh, I already recognize it. The swordswoman. Hey. <laughs> ムキムキの男に<笑> It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing other students having all this fun, I... I... <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy! Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy! Though this could be hard Eve, until Eve everyone got used to this. But they're all acting like ultimates! <laughs> Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all of this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Hajime, did you... did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying I feel like an idiot I don't care anymore I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun one of the only times we actually hear our protagonist's voice What just happened? Suddenly the sky grew co cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Eh? Huh? Hey, what's going on? 
What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few mo minutes ago. Wow, 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 wow. What's this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What? What is all this? There's no way something like this shouldn't be shouldn't be happening. And that ex that exact moment. Just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Monokuma? Monokuma! He's back! Yes! I actually, not back. God damn it. He's in the game, yes! We have uh, still the goddamn annoying teddy bear to worry about. Yep, that vice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was so different than Usami's. It was an endless storm of malice. It, it, it as if an endless storm, sorry, of malice could be could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my voice, sh my my body shuddered. The fuck could it be this voice? Is this is Oh this is very bad, I gotta do something It's all up to me Hey wait It seems that was an unusual occurrence It's best if we go to Jamwork Park wasn't it was it let's hurry up Hey wait But what about everyone who's swimming? There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll over he head over first. Those are some heavy steps, man. Shit. Uh, sorry. Shit. Shit. Just what the hell's going on? Uh, God damn it! I lost the accent. I'll be really pissed off, uh, pissed if this is something fucking stupid. I sound more like Irish than British now. What is this? What the hell's going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? I'll just uh, go ahead and leave as well. Bye bye, little girl, to you as well. Uh, oh, he just automatically went there. <clears throat> as we arrived at the at Jabberwock Park, actually, Uzami uh, shouting voice, Uzami shouting voice, could be heard ringing throughout the park. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? It's him! And now just zoom in! Pop! Yes! Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Long time no see, guys! Ahem! Now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... This is so freaking lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lamezongs! Lamezos! Oh, wait, Lemezos? Is that tasty? Just as I thought, it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Oh, shut up! I'm livid, you know, and I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what is this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? Goddamn. I'm so bored. So hopelessly bored. This, this just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. 
You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. What the hell is with this stuff, the animal? I can't even do it anymore. Nothing he's, uh, he's saying makes any darn sense. Actually, sorry, I'm brutish. Yeah, that's how you say it. What the hell uh, is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What is going on? What is that thing? Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Marakuma's here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah, opening. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya! Stop! <laughs> dun dun dun! Victory! No, my magic stick! God damn it, you made Husami full cry. I'm not supposed to look weird like this, change me back to normal. My, my, define your big brother's fashion sense. Mm, is Monomi a little troublemaker? Big brother, Monomi? Your current position is too wishy washy. So I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monomi. Though it's oddly external setting after all. Why do you have to be a, Why do I have to be your little sister? Big sister then? You wanna be the older sister that got separated at birth? Hmm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. So that's how it's gonna be, Monami. From now on, you if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. <laughs> Even the display sends to Monami. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. That was a punch and a half. How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals uh, fighting each other? That's like completely insane. <laughs> if only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. Boo hoo hoo. It's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even one second opening is life threatening in on a battle. Hey, what's with this stupid performance? Who friggin' knows? But it's obvious something bad's happening. What? Wha what's this? What's happening? What's going on? Uh, sob. Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking, she matches me now, you know. How insensitive. There's more of them? What does this mean? Is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! Don't under I don't understand myself. A few stuffed animal appears? 
I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. Monokuma? Did you say headmaster? Regardless, it appears everyone ha um, has gathered. Now then, as a headmaster, I shall make a formal declara declaration. From this point onward, let the killing school trip will now commence, as I was expecting somehow. But just the, per the first two hours of this game, just joyful life, and then this shit happens. Killing school trip? A school trip where everyone gets along as has no serious stimulation at all. It's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. You guys agree with me, right? So let your killing school uh, school tri let let's begin our be killing school trip. Naturally, you guys have uh, are the contestants. Killing contestants. What what are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. And now kicked. Oh yeah. Jeez, your, bra your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time, except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. Uh, uh. Now then, we got to off topic for a while. So let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. W what do you mean, killing school trip? Isn't it obvious? You guys are kill going to kill each other. Kill each other, I see. Kill each other! He realized what he was actually saying. What, what are you saying? That's impossible. Well, don't you think that it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. If you want to get all of the uh, get off this island, please kill one of your friends and then make it through the class trial without getting caught. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so they, this is basically the same as in the other game. We know this. Yeah, we all know the school trial. Goddamn rules and everything and how we must do it and what mm, things must be done mm, are different which means uh, yada yada yeah okay so however you are found guilty during the class trial then you'll be punished yeah this is still all the same as well you keep repeating the word punish over and over again what's the deal with that death basically it's an execution yeah execution the blazing Holy shit. Any meth- uh, uh, ham, any- um, Actually, ahem. <clears throat> any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like blood go- uh, blood Fuck. Blood zoning, stabbing, strangling and poisoning, and to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocuting, electric- uh, electrocution, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can all uh, you can kill as you please. Just one thing: running over if the car runs you over. Like, and uh, isn't that gonna like squish you as well? Well, never mind. It's an can you all you can measure be buffet buffet. A theme part of murder. That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. 
With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain cursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Don't fuck. Don't fuck with me. Me. And now I'm just doing Australian for some reason. That's right. Who, go, who on earth would kill someone? I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. But be careful, youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait until your first Jesus to start killing each other. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What if nobody gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never get out of this island? Who knows? Anyways, anyway, I'd like to, for you, uh, you all to go through this killing school trip in a healthy, in a healthy actually, and positive manner. Just wait a minute. Why do we have? Uh, uh, why would? Why do we have to do this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other, eh? Because otherwise you won't graduate. Hold on, you've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. Wonder fight, do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Who would dare to try to kill? I'll put a stop to it. With force if necessary. If you keep saying stupid stuff, uh, the athletes on, in our group are gonna lose their patience. Is that so? Well, I guess... Uh, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys wanna do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Force, what are you gonna do? Surge. Oh gods who dwell between the light and darkness and in accordance to our character I summon thee now come forth mono beasts The fuck I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived on at this island, but this... The phenomenon taking place right now in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? Huh? Why did the statue move? It's not a statue, there's... They're mono-beasts. monster No, I just said, they're mono-beasts! Huh, god damn it. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal for in anime or in video games, unlike this particular game, which is totally reality, except it's a game. Hmm. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. Five mono beasts that I can count, I think. I couldn't even feel fe fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No, this can't be. This is just too weird. Am I having a nightmare or something? Yeah, <laughs> nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it all right. How stupid, how ignorant cavemen are better than, all, than you all. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of modern age. Everyone, please stand back, I will protect everyone. Even uh, uh, at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Herc. Uh, what's this? Blurg. Uh, ah, I know. This is nausea. Your sickly sweetened sense of justice makes me want to puke. Alrighty then. It's decided you will be my example to everyone.
No, don't kill! Don't kill this soon! Holy shizzle! That's one heck of a Gatling gun slash minigun. What? 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 What is that? Oh my god. It's only the first Satan. My mom is already dead. Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's, it's a weapon from the future. Monobies are dreadful weapons of destruction! The sudden appearance of a monster, even though a life-threatening monster appears, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not like we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. That really was very le uh, very little at this particular moment. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, giving an example was to totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly uh, laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Now then, I've made my point. Just so we're clear. Okay then, also in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the he uh, the e-handbook. There, the rules of uh, the for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true for any society, really. Now then, enjoy the reminder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said the his piece. Monokuma and his monobeasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care uh, if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this expression, the tired expression on, on our pale faces. What, what just happened? Um, um, I just don't believe it, won't believe it, that's, that's it, uh, that, that's all there's to it. It'd be one thing if we were up against a human, or even an, an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? It's impossible, why is something impossible happening? Well, it's not really impossible. Those mono beasts, or whatever they're called, are machines, thus Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Who could be responsible for this? Why, why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Hey, who is it? Who? <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I, I believe it anyway. Uh, there's no way I'd believe something like that. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. You can eat first. No matter how confused and upset you are, I don't mind. 
However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... We don't need to be cautious with the of those machines. Or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Cutless of ourselves. He's still the one which is bringing like uncomfortableness to everyone. We look around, we look around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at each other's expressions, everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit, admit that we also had the, that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape, escape the island, which means in order to escape this, uh, this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no, even I'm no different. So, can I be truly confident that something like that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can do, know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have a confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything, even yourself. <clears throat> that's why it... F uh, that's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day. A day full of despair. That was the, be uh, the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Okay! So, I'm glad I'm finally playing this second game. I'm gonna have to end it, this, this episode here, because, I mean, although it's big, like, if it's gonna be, it's like two hours and a half that I've been recording for, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big video! Um... Well, let I, I guess the only thing I have to say for now is let the killing begin because there's really not much anything else happening so far. Um, I hope that this series is, is uh, turns out to be as good as uh, the original Danganronpa has been being because you know it actually has been actually a very good series that I'm very very much enjoying so far. Um, and I hope this one lives up to the hype of being a Danganronpa game. So, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, just click like button, let me know, subscribe to my channel for more content, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye